All right, so I tried a couple of different things, folks, to try to get this apart. So I was able to separate this board from here, this connector had this piece of uh, tape over it. So once you lift the tape up, this connector slides off. So you can just remove this board and put it aside. It's just the board. Now, two things, a couple of things uh, I tried and they all work. You can, these little tabs here, these little plastic tabs have to be removed. I did remove a couple here. You can follow my uh, screwdriver on the board. You can see where they, where these are. Uh, so I left three on. One way I, I, you could do this is if you had a screwdriver, it's a little tougher with the screwdriver and you're really digging down to try to get it to pop up. So I don't really like that way. If you had a soldering iron, uh, soldering iron does look similar to this. Obviously there's heat applied uh, to the tip here and then you can just melt, you know, swipe them, melt them off. They come off pretty quickly. I'm using just a razor blade. Be careful, you don't cut yourself. Um, and all I'm doing is going under it and popping it off like that. Sometimes they're a little tricky. That's really it, it's just a little piece of plastic. Pop it off, go to the next one. If you kind of, if you, if you have the ability to slide it, it, it cuts right, it slices right through it. As you can see as such. And the last one, I'm gonna slide it. There we go. That one's popped off now. Uh, this screw here, we're gonna have to loosen up. These are all number one Phillips screws. This goes to your LACD, uh, Hinge, put that aside. There's two over here, loosen them both up. Put that one there. And that one goes above it. I believe they do have arrows on them. Same thing over here, arrow, arrow. Uh, we have to remove this tape. Pull this tape back. Nothing's easy, folks. Just slide that back. Another one here. Sometimes it's easier to pull it from the back and work your way forward. Like that. Just pull that one back. That one's good. This one too. Pull that back. Uh, is this on there? That's on there also. Ugh. Pull that one back. Keyboard is underneath this metal frame. There you go. Uh, looks like this metal, f this has to come off also. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the mouse pad sensor. Well, let's take it apart because it looks like this metal, you can see, goes underneath there. So I'll slide these. Actually, I can probably just bend this whole thing back once I can just take the try it. Oh, I think Maybe not, there's a, I don't wanna rip this either. I think there's a screw, there is one underneath here. There it is. Might be able to get away with just loosening all this up. Put these aside. This one, this one. It's total three on each side. Looks like there's a couple and four in the front. These look to be all the same size. Slide 
this piece of tape back. And another one right here. Well, they do look, all oh, they'd be the same size. So this bracket, could probably just, let's see if we can, perfect. So we just pull these two connectors out. These two white tabs lift up. So up, see this one right there lifts up. And then just pull these out straight back. Put this aside. All kinds of fun stuff here. See the more screws, the, the keyboard does go underneath there. So let's remove these four screws here. One, two, three. This is a total disassembly. What a terrible design. Just to replace the keyboard. There's your mouse pad or sensor, whatever you want to call it. Careful, there's your LCD screen right there. Uh, let me do this. Have some bubble wrap. Put that underneath there so you don't scratch it. You could use a piece of cardboard, whatever you have. So now we're getting, as you can see, it'll be a little easier to pop these up. As, you, as, we, as we do, as we work around. Let's disconnect our cables here. Loosen all these tabs up. Tape there. Goes like that. Put that one back. Same with this one, see if we can loosen it up. What does that go around over here? Just, that goes to your Wi-Fi, so I'll just put that aside. Uh, okay, we're getting there now. And same thing, let's take this, go around, see if we can pop this up. I don't see any screws. putting this under and rocking it. Like I said, you're, you're, be careful because your LCD screen's underneath it, so try not to pry too, too hard. This will slide out of there. Let's see, I wanna make sure you guys can still see that. Yep, it's still in the frame. Uh, this looks like it's getting hung up on our hinge. pliers I could lift that hinge up a little more there we go as you can see I just uh, was able to uh, bend it up and now this should come out total disassembly hope you guys are up for this <laughs> this is your keyboard so it looks like it's taped on Back. 
Right, no, don't tell me this is, okay. <laughs> so this keyboard is done the same way, folks. As you can see, I'm gonna pause the video again. I gotta go through and melt or melt or take off every single one of these, as you can see. Um, it is what is holding the keyboard into place. There's an awful lot of them. So I'm gonna pause it, cause it's gonna take me a while. But um, just so you can follow through, every single one of these little plastic um, beads has to be uh, taken off, cause that's the only thing holding the keyboard down. You don't have to worry about it when you replace it because all the screws and everything else is gonna hold it into place. So I'm gonna pause the video and go ahead and remove all those.